Welcome to the Waffle Flower Channel. Hi everyone, Katie Gehring here. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this interactive spinner card using the new Flora Cat Play stamp set. So this is a look at the stamp set that I'm going to be using today. And for my card, it's going to have a spinning or a rolling action. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to use the cat that's rolling around upside down along with the sentiment, this is how we roll. I started by die cutting two three inch circles from white cardstock and I'm going to be stamping the same kitty cat and butterfly on each of the circles because I'm going to be sandwiching them together and that way when you utilize the spinner element you're going to have the same scene on both sides of the spinner. I am using a Copic Friendly ink um, in gray because I'm going to be using some other gray elements on the card and I thought that this might be um, kind of a nice blended look. So I am just inking up the cat and the butterfly images with the gray ink and then I'm going to press it on to the white circle cardstock and I'm going to do that twice so that um, both sides of my spinner element will be taken care of. The nice thing about using the Misty in particular with this stamp set is some of those floral images that are inside the cat are rather intricate. So if you happen to skip a little spot, you can always go back and re-ink. So now I am just adding a little bit of coloring to the kitty cat images using Copic markers. And I'm just using very pale shades of green, yellow, um, some RV, red violet colors, and then also um, BG blue green colors. And um, just adding a little bit of light wash of color to the kitty cat and the butterfly images. Now that my cats are colored, I am ready to start building out the construction for the rest of the spinner card. So I have a note card here that I have made from white cardstock. I also have a panel of light gray cardstock that I cut with the Lacy Layers 2 die. And that is going to form my card. And I'm going to be sandwiching the spinner elements between the note card itself and then that top gray layer. So I need to die cut a circle through both of those that's going to be large enough such that the three inch um, spinner element is going to be able to rotate freely in that window. So I am positioning the die that I'm going to be using. This is just a Spellbinder circle die that I had in my stash. And I am going to use some low tack um, tape, some washi tape. And I have lightly tacked the, um, the gray layer to the white note card. And then I also taped the die in place, opened up the note card, and then ran it through my big shot. And you can see there that it die cut through all of the layers cleanly. And now I am ready to add the sentiment to the front of my card. I positioned the gray cardstock panel in my mini Misty and I am just figuring out where I want that sentiment to be. I'm going to ink it up again with the same gray Copic Friendly ink that I used on the cat and butterfly images and I'm just going to ink that up and then stamp it onto the, onto the gray cardstock. Now I could have moved along at uh, that point and constructed the rest of my card, but I decided I wanted to add a little bit of embellishment in detail around the um, corners of this gray card stock. So to do that, I pulled out the Bear and Bird stamp set um, that was released a few months ago, and I pulled out some of these little floral elements that are included in the stamp set, and I'm stamping them in that same gray ink in the corners of the card. Now, um, in the bottom corners because I need to make sure that the sentiment is going to fit I pulled out the smaller floral cluster so that everything will fit nicely there I am going to add color to the floral clusters using the same um, Copic markers that I used to color in 
the cat and the butterfly and um, just add those in all of the corners. And then to add a little bit more detail and interest, I'm going to pull out a warm gray Copic multi-liner pen along with a ruler and I am going to use the pen and the ruler to draw a thin line frame connecting all of the different floral clusters and making a really nice lined frame around the outside edge of this top layer of the card. I am using the scallop edge of the die cut there to make sure that I am getting my lines straight and even along with the lines on my craft mat help me gauge um, to make sure that I am drawing my lines straight. So now it's time to put everything together. To construct the spinner element, I have pulled out some silver thread and I'm just going to cut off a length of that. Then I'm going to double it over um, so that it's going to be two threads that are going through the center spinner element, just so that the threads have something to twist around and um, that'll help with the spinner action. Um, now I have taken the white note card that has the circle die cut in it that we had done earlier earlier. I had adhered the two circles with the cats on it to either side of that thread, making sure that it was centered um, on those circles. And now I'm just taking a thin piece of score tape and I am adhering and centering the spinner element in the center of the window that is in the note card. And I want to make sure that that is tight so that when it does spin, that it's going to maintain an even border all around and it's not going to be saggy. So I am just going to double up on a little bit of score tape here to make sure that that thread is really super secure before I adhere the top layer of the card and trim off the excess thread. I'm just going to give it a test spin or two to make sure that it is even and that it is holding itself in place nicely. Those two pieces of cardstock sandwiched together do actually have a little bit of weight to them. So you wanna make sure that when you're tacking that down um, that you're using some really strong tape like a red line tape or a score tape like I did here. So now I am adhering the top layer of the card that also has the same um, window that we had die cut earlier in it. You'll also see our sentiment and the nice little floral clusters that I had put in the corner. So now that that is all set and in place, I'm just going to use some scissors to trim off that excess thread. And I'm going to check it to make sure that um, it's going to spin or roll as it were, given that's what the sentiment says. Um, you can twist it up really nicely um, before you pop it in the mail and then that way when your recipient receives, receives the card um, it will have that little fun spinner surprise as it unravels for them. Well that's going to wrap it up for me today but if you would like any information on the products used in today's video please visit waffleflower.com and don't forget to follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for even more creative ideas. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.